In my last video, I looked at the arena and these four figures. This time we'll be looking at the first six from the collection, coming up after this. Like I said, we have already checked out the two figures that came with the arena and the two second wave of figures, which is like a laser light He-Man and Skeletor. But we're gonna look at the six basic, the first six that came out. This is the full collection of this awesome Fisher-Price Imaginext Arena. Probably one of my favorite collections, just because they're all of my favorite things. Pirates and warriors and samurais and Vikings and the list goes on. Ninjas and Skeletor. These packages are really hard to open, but I guess I'm gonna open them up anyway. We have Axeman the Viking. Look at him. Uh, look, he comes with a mustache. We have Sir Peter the Knight. Looking real good. We have Wasabi the Samurai. He's the funniest looking one. He looks scary. We've got Roman the General. Really awesome. And we've got Cliche the Pirate. He has a skeleton hood. That's awesome. And last but certainly not least is Tiger the Hunter. And I love that helmet he comes with. Oh, he's got some great accessories in there. Now they all have this like kind of apparatus that has a button that does something. So that's gonna be fun to discover. Uh, I'm gonna cut them open. Okay, okay, okay. Here are our six new warriors. Probably should get these guys out of the way. Make it easier on myself. And they each come with their own card. And I like how the bottoms of the flag all have a different pattern. That's really cool. I guess I can show you their card and their stats. If you want to read that or pause on that, that is Axeman. And then we have Sir Peter, loving the artwork. Those codes there that you see, the three digits, that's how you punch it in to the arena to identify your figure so the arena knows exactly who you have. That's his stats, Gladiator. Cliche. We've got two skeletons in this series. Skeletor guy is a skeleton as well. And then Tiger. I like how that's the organic bottom on this flag. Okay, so I think the award for craziest backpack is this samurai guy. Look at these blades. But they all have some really cool, uh, fun features. There's a button on each one of them, and they do certain things. This guy, I wonder if he can fly with this helicopter. That's weird, why is it sometimes not working? He is really a jungle man. He looks so cool. Look at that backpack, look at that stone face. That's amazing. I can't believe the details on these things. So much fun. The backpack can come off. And it reveals this witch doctoring looking guy. Uh, look at that. Look at the paint on his body and his funny little pants and his tooth necklace. And they each come with an alternative helmet. So you don't have to have the backpack. And his is this tribal mask. Still his bald head is revealed. That looks really cool. And he comes with this spear and giant shield. And he looks so cool. Do you think that that's for the top of the shield or the bottom of the shield? Maybe it's for a torch. So maybe that should go to the top. I thought it was so you could rest it on the ground. But maybe that is to be lit in like a torch. Like the leopard spots on them too. That's Tiger the Hunter. And then we have Cliche the Pirate. And he has a parrot that rides on his sword mechanism. It's kind of steampunk. 
the way that they have these things. But when you press down on his pet pirate, the sword does some wacky moving around. Really cool. I like his boots. I like everything about him. He has a hook hand. That is what was holding on to the mechanism. That is awesome. He's got a little vest on and a little tuft on his neck and this crazy mustache. And he's got the round older style Imagine X heads. And his alternative helmet is this skeleton body. Isn't that really cool? With his red bandana. I better move back this light. Yeah, it's gonna be better. Look at his eyes looking through. So cool. The shields tend to run horizontally. I don't know why they do that. It's kind of bizarre. But the wrists do twist, so it's not a problem. It's just a weird thing to do for a shield. And can I put his sword in his hook hand? And his sword is beautiful. It's a golden, the gray and brown handle. Look at that wood detail on that skull shield. He is awesome. Roman the General is next. And he is like a gladiator. And he shoots a missile. And when you press it, unlike with Neil the astronaut from my first video, it shoots out of the thing. Maybe Neil was just stuck inside. I don't like that it shoots out because I don't want to lose it. But again, kind of a steampunk thing. I really like this cannon. And I really like how he's dressed. And it's not going to be that much different. Oh man, that is an awesome um, Greek god, Roman gladiator look. We released this outfit with the Wonder Woman series. I would definitely like to get that. Those Wonder Woman figures never showed up in Canada. Hopefully one day I find those because you can get the Minotaur from this set and then you can get these Roman figures as well. And this is his alternative Roman cape and helmet look. Really, really nice. And his name is Roman, the general. And his shield and sword are just as awesome. Isn't he awesome? Made in China. I was hoping to see a year. Okay, Wasabi the Samurai. I'll show you that again. So he's got this great big chest that he's carrying on his back. I wonder what he looks like. I have no idea. But you can see he has a face under there. So much detail. So samurai'd up. Oh, there he is. He's bald. He's got his angry eyebrows and his mustache. <laughs> I like the coloring. Oh, there are the symbols on the back. I didn't notice those symbols on anybody else. They were painted on the ones that I opened last time, but yeah, there they are. You can see that they're not painted on these figures. Interesting. And his alternative hat and vest look like this. I've actually definitely had this armor before on other figures. And that is what that looks like. So nice, so authentic. I love how he's looking through that visor. These are very incredible. And I'm thinking authentic. So we've got some kind of fighting fork. It's just bizarre, but it looks super dangerous. It's a rake, it's a poker, it does all kinds of things. That shield is beautiful. Very, very nice. I love with detail like that. That's so cool. Okay, Sir Peter the Knight is up next. Very intricate backpack and propeller mechanism. Again, very kind of steampunk. That looks really good on camera. Twisting like that. Look at the great detail on him. He's got all of this armor on, gold and silver. So many different shades of metal. That is awesome. Look at that logo up there that you press on. That's the smoothest mechanism that I've tried so far. Here's what he looks like without that helmet on. So he's got this chainmail hat on, makes it round. His symbols are painted. 
um, three swords. That's his code for the machine, for the arena machine and his mustache. Mustaches are very popular in history, apparently. His alternative helmet mask is incredible. I love that he does remind me of the mask from one of my favorite cartoons as a kid, Hercules. Uh, so good. Again, I love all of those medals. And then the purple royal accents. Oh, his shield has the handle going on in the right direction for once. He has a beautiful staff axe and such an incredible shield with a horse on it. It's asymmetrical, I guess because his helmet, so we can see. They must have based these on artifacts, detail on his belt and everything. Man, I love Imaginex. Okay, the last one for us today is Axemen the Viking. I love Vikings. All of my favorite factions. They don't have any construction workers. They totally should have had a construction worker. Here we are, a Viking. How does this work? Oh, you have to pull it back. This is similar to Bones, the skeletons. He had an axe that chopped like this. But that's cool, he didn't pull the lever back though. I like that. I like these boxes. I'm surprised that I like them. They're bulky, so I do like the other armors better though, I have to say. And oh, he's a great character in his face. One eyebrow is raised more than the other. He's looking pretty jacked too. I like his boots and his rug or shroud or whatever you call what he was wearing. Bald. He's balding. He's not bald, but he's got a round head. Really great look. He looks awesome. Oh yeah, he should have long hair. Here's the answer to that. His broken off horn looks great. His giant mustache. I don't know what that green stuff is down the front of his jacket. I guess it's the color. Really cool. Let's look at the details. See the details on these? I could just stare at them forever. Some kind of Scandinavian old stuff on his belt. And he comes with a mighty hammer, more rudimentary. His shield has a Viking ship on it. Again, the wood grain. I love that. Man, does he look incredible. These are so nice. He's got a little metal tip on his horn. These are awesome. These are so, so awesome. Let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll show you the other four that we got. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more Imagine Next. Love ya. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I do have some more here. Full collection. This is awesome. This is Bull the Beast. If you want to see more details on him, definitely check out my other video. This is Neil the Spaceman. Love those translucent weapons. This is Skeletor. No, I mean, it does look like Skeletor, but his name is Bones the Skeleton. I kept on his crazy backpack because you take that off and he doesn't look like Skeletor anymore. And this is Dark Shadow. I guess he's a ninja and not a samurai. There's a difference, you know. All right, if you didn't see the other video, you're going to want to check that out to see those in depth. Welcome to the Battle Arena. Time to make history. If you want to see me have fights, let me know. Oh my goodness, look at his goofy face. I don't think I showed you that.